Are you are you demolition ranch? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I used to be a huge fan of yours. Not anymore. No, you made this one elevator cable video that was it was real dumb. You didn't even have any weight on the cable at all. I mean, yeah, but like. Still a good video. Nah, it was pretty much worthless, totally unrealistic and a waste of everyone's time. There's no point in testing a cable that has no weight on it at all. What do you mean? <laughs> Should have tested it with a real elevator, bro. Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> There's only one way to find out. No, no, no! Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Great video for you today, but first I want to say thanks to our sponsor of this episode, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is incredibly reliable and effective home security. You order it online, it is shipped directly to your door, and then you, 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 you install it in your own home in under an hour using simple hand tools like a screwdriver or just double-sided tape. A lot of people have been putting off getting a home security system and you don't need to do it anymore because this makes it too easy. No contracts, no hidden fees. If you are not completely satisfied, you are not locked in like a two-year contract or anything. It comes out to like 50 cents a day. This is your home base station. This is an HD camera. You have sensors for every window and door, water sensors, freeze sensors. This is a motion detector. Wrong, this is a glass break sensor, this is a motion detector, smoke detector, panic button, video doorbell. This is a key fob so you can easily say, I'm leaving the house. Please exit now. Smart door locks and a keypad so you can control the whole system. Super easy to hook up everything to your system and to check that it all works. I was first interested in Simply Safe because I wanted to keep my house safe like everyone else. I've got small kids, I've got you know valuables and I wanna make sure it's safe. If anything happens, maybe a robber breaks a window and tries to come into your house, the Simply Safe alarm will go off and it'll notify the authorities of the event so they can make sure to come and stop whatever bad stuff is happening in your home. Visit simplysafe.com slash demo ranch to learn more. Thank Thank you Simply Safe for sponsoring this episode of your favorite YouTube channel. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! Last time we made an elevator cable video, you guys freaked out like crazy because I didn't have tension on it. Listen, do you know how hard it is to put tension on stuff? It's not easy. I don't have an elevator to actually shoot. Get off my back! But uh, we actually are going to put tension on it in this video. So we have another elevator cable and as you can see that side is chained to a tree and this side we have hooked to the winch on my five ton. So a typical elevator weighs around 2,000 to like 5,000 pounds. When loaded to capacity, we'll say they're 4,000 to 10,000 pounds. So that cable, if, if it was just one cable, would have 10,000 pounds hanging from it. Now usually elevators have multiple. But we're gonna say worst case scenario, we have a big, completely full, elevator with one cable so we're gonna have say 10,000 pounds of force on that one cable. My 5 ton has a 18,000 pound winch so we're gonna crank it up to full capacity. We're gonna put 18,000 pounds of force on this cable. So the theory is and I think you guys are right something that is taut is gonna be easier to break so when we were shooting it when it was floppy it was gonna absorb some of that energy and not cut it. So think about it this way. If you have a piece of paper and your friend is holding it like this and you karate chop it, it's pretty easy to rip that piece of paper. If you throw the paper up in the air and you karate chop it when it's not held taut, it probably won't rip. It'll probably just go with your hand. I would be able to because I'm really good at karate chopping, but like a normal person like you probably would not cut that paper in half unless it was tight, taut. So that's what we're going to do with this. Stand back. We're going to put a lot of tension on this thing real quick. pretty tight already. Uh, this truck weighs 20,000 pounds and that winch will eventually, when it gets really tight, will start pulling the truck forward because it pulls it so hard. Dragging the back wheel. I have the emergency brake on on this truck and it, it's dragging it. So safe to say we got full power on that thing. It is stretched to 18,000 pounds of force pulling that thing. <laughs> That is tight. Oh my gosh. Okay, yep. Yeah. 
That's pretty tight. Now we are going to redo the test that we did before with the exact same calibers and see if we have similar results or if we cut this thing way easier. First up, nine millimeter out of a Hellcat, which is actually a very poor choice because we're shooting a tiny thing. I mean, it's an inch tall probably uh, with a subcompact. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, last time we did a nine millimeter, it did absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh, the red dot totally covers up. I can't see this thing at all because it's gray and it blends in with like the gray dirt behind it. We're gonna paint this because it's invisible. We don't want to get close because we're shooting steel and not really confident that I know where those bullets are going to go. So we're trying to be nice and safe and back far out here on the gun range. Okay, that should make it a lot easier to see from a distance. Nine millimeter. Hopefully we can hit this thing. It is so tiny. Can't tell if I'm hitting. I think I'm hitting it, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that one for sure hit it. All right, let's go look. This is hard to hit this thing. Here's our hit right here. Knocked the paint off and left some pieces of lead on there. That's not steel because it's really easy to bend, but did not cut any of those little cables. Oh, here's the other hits. I knew I was hitting this thing. So there's a hit there and a hit there where it knocked the paint off. Yeah, nothing. Okay, we hit three shots. None of the nine millimeters did anything to it. In the last video, we went to a 45 ACP. So uh, also, I didn't tell you guys the other video I told you, but this one, the reason we're doing this is because in the movies, the guys will go shoot an elevator cable with one bullet from a nine millimeter and it'll drop the entire elevator. Like they, the Matrix, for instance, they grab on and they go, and everything falls. We're just showing that that is not real life. 45 ACP, a much bigger, heavier bullet, but for sure still not gonna do anything, right? Let's find out. That is a hit. I'm gonna go ahead and fire a couple more. Two hits in a row, okay. That's why 1911s are still popular today. Okay. Three hits in a row. I like that. Chunks of lead. That's lead from a 45. This is the whole bullet, looks like. Dude, how crazy is that? That's just straight up lead smashed into the cable. There's the back of the 45. And here's the other one hit. The cables look fine. Maybe a little bent there. Okay, that one is bent. Hit, 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 nothing. Okay, we're gonna repaint and step it up. 4570, government. This is a big, bad round, capable of a lot of damage, both to the target and to your shoulder. So last time, this one did not cut any cables, but it bent them a little bit. So this will be, I think, the first really telling test as to if this is different or not, because if this cuts a cable, it means that this tension is making a big difference, which it's a crazy amount of tension. That loop down there is just such a sharp loop, and this is a really big, thick, strong cable. All right, can I hit it with a 4570 from here? That's the real test we're doing. Looked a little high. Ow! Oh, I think that was high too. It's so hard to tell. Maybe I'm going low. Maybe I should aim high. We have not hit it yet. Yep, I was going low every time. So I aimed about an inch over. We smacked it, all the dust just flew off of that thing. Okay, let's see what a 4570 did. Look at that, okay, so in the last video, when we hit it with a 4570, it bent some of the wires a little bit, but it did not break any. Looks like we broke one, two, three, four, five, six, at least seven, this is scary. I know it's probably not gonna explode, but it just seems like it might explode. But we broke seven of these small wires, which is totally crazy. Which means you guys are right. Tension definitely made a difference on this. So now we're gonna up it again. In the last video, we shot a 4570, didn't break any wires, and then we went to a 300 wind mag, and it broke 
uh, about this many wires, honestly, with 300 Win Mag. So now we're gonna shoot a 300 Win Mag and see what it does with tension. 300 Win Mag, giant round. That's really a giant case with a lot of powder. Shooting a normal sized bullet. So that's a 30 cal bullet, but it just shoots it super fast. We're shooting out of this Falcor Petra, just like the last cable video. And we will see what this extra tension does to it. If anything, we don't even know if it does anything. I'm not sure. Oh, scope is nice. The problem is this scope is sighted in for far away. And when you're shooting something up close, the elevation is not the same as if it was far away. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit this right over to the left of the last one. Okay, that definitely missed it. So at close range, it means it should be shooting low. I should, yeah, I need to go, I think I need to go higher. That touched it, but I don't see it. I think it just tipped it. Oh yeah, it's low, I see it. All right, I need to go extra high. Yep, there it was, that one was a solid hit. Definitely compromised. Our bullet went, oh, I'm gonna go let off tension. This thing's scary. I'm just, like it's still got 18,000 pounds of tension on it. I'm just afraid it's gonna go and cut me in half. All right, tension is off. It kind of rotated when I let the tension off. The bullet came in right here. So where did, where did that other one hit? Like right over, that's 4570, knocked those two loose. But it came in right here, it cut this whole thing in half. This one right here, mostly in half. This one about half and half. So the core, it has one core in the middle. So you can see this one right here in the middle and all the other ones wrap around that. And so that core over here got hit, lost a couple little fibers, but the core is still strong. So it looks like there are six cables wrapped around a single core. So seven total. Let me see about how many we have left. There's three complete cables. This one is almost cut in half and the core is barely cut. That took out 50% of our cables right there. So I would say this thing is half as strong as it was before. I'm gonna crank it up as tight as it'll go now. It shouldn't break because that's still a very big cable but I'm kind of worried still. If I get cut in half, uh, make sure to like, uh, subscribe, and comment so that my family has enough money. Thanks. Okay, we're dragging the five ton. So far, the taut cable for sure is easier to hurt than a loose cable. We're gonna actually shoot a part that hasn't been shot yet off to the left over here and I'm going all in. We're gonna use a 50 cal, this is a 50 BMG black tip, which is an armor piercing round. So a 50 AP round going straight at our cable. This is a Barrett M82 and it packs a pretty good punch. So the question is, will it cut that in half or not? I don't know, we have it taut. We went ahead and tightened it back up. So it's a super tight cable. Let's see if it cuts, firing. I hit it, but must have not hit it very bad. Looks like I hit the top. Let's go investigate real quick. Right there. So I'm gonna aim a smidge lower. I'm gonna turn my scope to smidge uh, down in elevation, just to go like one click is a smidge. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna send it. We hit it, we need to hit it better. Another AP round, a little bit lower this time. How did that not break? <laughs> so we got the center core that time, mostly cut in half. I think it spun a little. I can't tell where the bullet went in, but I mean, it, there's three cables left there that are not cut. All right, I'm gonna go crank it, make sure we got full tension. We're gonna try to shoot that in half. Okay. That's as tight as we can get it. I really want to break that thing. Uh, we're going to shoot an incendiary, so this thing will explode when it hits. I'm going to hit it in that weak spot. If that doesn't work, we have another black tip to follow up and see if we can break it. I just really want to see a cable snap under tension. I mean, I'm kind of nervous about it, but I just got to know. I got to know what it does. All right, 50 BMG incendiary coming in hot. Oh, that was it? It just fell? 
That flash was so crazy. So I don't actually know what happened because in my scope, I just saw this big boom. And then when I looked up out of my scope, I just saw it falling. But it, I was really hoping we would get some like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Doesn't seem that happened. Here is uh, one end of the cable. This is a solid, no it is missing. It's missing one right here. Oh, it's right there, that's it. Okay, this is the other half. Oh, there was just so much tension that I can't even get them close. This right here hooked to this right here. And now it, like two feet of missing cable in there just because we had stretched that rope, the cable, the chain, all as taut as they would go. So class, here's what we learned. You guys were right, because when we hit them with the 4570, the 3 in a wind mag, and the 50 BMG on a non-tensioned cable, there was way less damage than when we actually had pulled 18,000 pounds of force. And then it was much easier. We didn't cut the other one in half. Go watch the other video if you have it, because it's interesting now to compare the two. We did not cut them in half. We could have if we shot enough 50 cals, but it would have taken forever. But this one, freaking crazy. Okay. You haters are gonna be like, hey Matt, you next time, you gotta hang it straight up and down because the force is different. We Shut up, I'm doing my best here. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the Ranger, I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact right. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.